two weeks to go before the California primary, and there's been a big shakeup tonight in the race for L.A. County Sheriff. The fallout from the revelation that one of the leading candidates is the subject of a federal investigation was very much in evidence at the candidate forum in Porter Ranch tonight. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan is live there now with the story. Dave. Well, that's right, Lena Sylvia. We're outside the Shepherd of the Hills Church in Porter Ranch, as you indicated, where this sheriff's candidate forum was held. Five of the seven candidates did show up for the forum, but one of those who did not, Paul Tanaka, the former under sheriff, was much the center of much of the attention here, and the news about him could have a very important effect on this race. There are problems in the Los Angeles County. In the first five minutes of this candidate forum in Porter Ranch, two candidates in the race for L.A. County Sheriff called on former under sheriff Paul Tanaka, now the mayor of Gardena, to drop out of the sheriff's race. There's a lot of news media attention right now relative to uh, corruption, and, and we had literally the Pied Piper of corruption. Uh, in the L.A. County Sheriff's Department who uh, was outed yesterday in federal court as a subject as a, of a federal investigation. And he's a candidate for sheriff who chose not to come here tonight. We've seen these core values applied separately and individually according to the whims of the executives on the department and specifically Paul Tanaka. Uh, the, the fact that uh, he is now um, under a um, uh, federal uh, investigation and he was actually leading the organization is the antithesis of what good core values for this organization should be. In federal court this week, Tanaka acknowledged that he is the subject of an ongoing federal grand jury investigation into charges of brutality and corruption at the LA County jails. Being a subject means his conduct is under investigation as part of a broader inquiry, but does not mean he's a target for criminal charges at this time. Tanaka was a no-show at the candidate forum after the sponsors say his campaign had confirmed before the revelation that he would be participating. Outside the forum, Assistant Sheriff Todd Rogers blamed Tanaka for many of the high-profile events now under investigation by the FBI. And the common denominator with a lot of the scandals we've been facing, whether it be the bulletproof vest sent from Gardena to Cambodia or Operation Pandora's Box, Heidi the inmate from the FBI, the common denominator in all of those has been Paul Tanaka and his followers. A third candidate for sheriff who was not present at the forum also indicated he thinks Tanaka should drop out. Long Beach Police Chief Jim McDonald said the entire community would be better off if Tanaka ended his campaign. Retired Sheriff's Department Commander Bob Olmsted called on all the other candidates to join in. The fact that Paul Tanaka has been behind this the whole time, pulling the uh, puppet strings on this. Citizens Commission on Jail Violence uh, pointed fingers saying he's the uh, individual. Uh, and now we've got a uh, federal um, uh, investigation going on where he is a subject of the investigation, criminal investigation. This is shameful. Well, Paul Tanaka has long been considered a major candidate in this race because of his name recognition from the time that he was second in command at the Sheriff's Department. It's too soon to know how much damage this revelation will have on that, but some believe this may now open up the second spot in the runoff to one of the other candidates. We're live in Porter Ranch, Dave Bryan, KCAL 9 News. All right.